G'day legends, welcome to the show. I did have a guide book today, and you wouldn't believe it, we got blown out with 20 knot winds. It may look pretty calm out there at the moment, but what we've actually got is we've got this offshore wind. If you can see out further, I'm not sure if you can zoom in that far or you guys can see, but it's really howling out there. There's actually a boat I can see out there fishing. Now, I don't know, I've got no idea what's going on in his head. Down here, we're a little bit sheltered. We've got the eggy head rod. We've got a Shimano Stratic 2500. Getting rid of these flies. We are going to hit the squid land base today. I hope you enjoy the content. I want to know what you guys want to watch. If you guys want to see me do a specific type of fishing, leave a comment down below, leave a like, and as always, be sure to subscribe, guys. Let's go. We're going for the good old Flamingo Mia in a demon with a snap swivel. Let's go, we've got the eggy head rod, and we'll make our way across these rocks, and we'll give it a good crack. So let's just get this first cast going. Right, let's get a good cast happening. All right, let's go. We've got the wind behind us, so we're getting some good distance. The 3.5 eggy head flamingo mia. Geez, it's 35 degrees out today, out west, southwest of Sydney. We're just protected by this uh, headland out here. The water's so clear. Oops, bumped the camera there. Let's see how we go. Beautiful conditions. I've actually got some frozen beach worms. I might put them out. Let's see how we go. No followers just yet. This wind's howling now. It always seems to be windy when I'm recording land-based. I'm just hoping that that camera doesn't get blown over. I might bring that camera a bit closer. I hope that camera doesn't fall over. Let's go again. Let's go around this way now. There's a few little fish following that jig. No squid though. No luck. Let's go again. I think after this one, we'll change it to a different colour. Trying to get that squid jig to dart. See if we can see if it'll come up on the GoPro. Try to get that darting action side to side. So there's a few little fish there, but there's something bigger down there too. No squid. Try down this way. See if there's any squid hiding in amongst the kelp down this way. Oh, they just bumped the kelp. No good. A little puffer next to it. Next to the jig, there's a little puffer. Super clear water. We're not having much luck on the pink. Time to reset that camera and uh, change jigs. Good old flamingo me are not good for us today. Let's see what else we can find. That's the one we're going for. As you can see, that's worked. So I'll put this on and I'm gonna reset, reset the footage. Let's go again, jeez, it's hot. Woo! I'm not gonna last too long out here. I might have to go and reset. There's a patch of kelp just out there. Let's see if white, this white eggy head shagason in a 3.5 can do us some, some damage. Jeez, there's no shade here at all. Whew. It's just blowing warm air. Let's go again. Just that. Just that little puffer. Oh, he's tapping it too. He likes it. He can probably smell all the squid. He can taste the squid. Look at that. 
it's caught loads of squid. Man, I'm gonna have to get going. This is this is way too hot. Woo! So hot today. And I had to wear black, didn't I? The car said 35 degrees. Here comes our jig. Have we got any followers? No takers. Tough day. Tough day on the squid. No joy. We'll do one more cast and then what I'll do is I'll put a ball sinker and a circle hook. We'll give the, the beach worms a crack. They're in that esky there. Look at the wind cast that. Whoa. Where are these squid? And a snag yet, that's a good that's a good sign. No followers, only that dodgy little or well, a couple of dodgy little puffer fish. I think it's time to kill a bit of time. Let's put some bait on a hook, eh? See how we go. Just tying this uh, this knot up, and we'll see how we go. Okay, it's going to be our rig there. We will get a circle hook on. Let's see how that goes. Okay, let's get some beach worms on. Alright, let's go again. I'm just going to reset that camera. The good old beach worms. Plan B. But let's just see how this goes for a while. We've got to mix it up. That wind, I'm worried about the camera. Now we just wait for a bite. I'm really worried about that camera falling over. <laughs> so hot. Very quiet down here today. The time is 2.30 in the afternoon. We've been here for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, been a bit quiet. Um, I'd like it to get a bit better than this. The birds are working. They're feeding on something. Look at the wind, that offshore wind. I'm really worried about that camera. That little tripod's doing its job though. It's really, really howling. Oh, we're on, okay, oh, we're on. Good fish. Whoa. Well, we're on a good fish here. Just trying to get good fish. What do we got? Probably a wrasse, I reckon. It feels all right, though. What have we got on the, on the worm? What have we got? Oh, he's trying to duck under. Oh, my gosh, it's a snapper. <laughs> It's a legal snapper. I can't believe it. A legal snapper, guys. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, wow. We got a legal snapper. He's probably about 30, but we're going to let him go. But I really got to get this photo with him. <laughs> He's legal, too. Circle hook done its job. Right in the mouth. Land based snapper. So let's let him go. And off he goes. Wow. Well that's when a when a plan B comes together. I know it's not a big snapper, but that wasn't really what I was targeting. The squid are pretty quiet today, so sometimes it's best when a 
when you go for that plan B. And that's the rig there, look, that's 12 pound line. Um, I've got these float stoppers here. They slide up and down, and that leaves me with a bit of trace. So, all right, let's, let's go, <laughs> let's go. You, the funny thing is that as those birds were working, was when I got that snapper. Very interesting. 20 minutes, one snapper, the squid don't seem to be on. It's super hot. I think uh, we're gonna write this session off soon. And we beat the donut. No donuts. Try cast down this way. We'll call this the last cast. Okay, ladies and gents, sometimes you just need that plan B, all right? Had I relied on solely on squid jigs, we probably would have been let down. I only had an hour to fish. This is how I do a lot of my fishing. If I can squeeze in an hour, I'll go for an hour. If I can squeeze in longer time, I will. But having said that, you just got to get out and amongst it. Hey, one snapper at 30, 31 centimetres. I'll take that. I'll take that. We let him go. He's swimming freely. But I honestly didn't think I'd catch. That's the first time I've caught one of them down here. So. You know, plan B saves the day. Just remember that. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Dave Austin loves you all. And if you've got any comments, put them down below. If you want to see me doing something different, leave me a comment. And we'll see what we can do about it. Tight lines, guys. Take it easy. You.